Hi, so in this video we're going to be looking at connected rates of change. Um, and we do this really when we want to find one rate of change and we've been given another one. And then we find out a way of connecting the two together. Now when you're doing this, just you just have to be careful that when you connect them you get everything the right way round. And you do this by just checking when you cross cancel, you're just left with what you need. So if I need DL by DT, that's what I should be left with. Okay, so here's an example. The area of a square increases at a rate of 4 cm square per minute. Find the rate of change of the length when the length is 6 cm. So, what do I want? I want to find the rate of change of the length. So, I want dl by dt, the rate of change of the length. What am I given? I'm giving the area of the square increases at a rate of 4 cm square per minute. That's the area increases at a rate of, so that means how is the area changing with time, so that's dA by dt. So I've got this, and this is the what bit I have to now put in, I have to work out what I need as this third component. So I look here and say uh, I need dL on the top, and I haven't yet got dL, so I'm going to put dL here, and I need dt on the bottom, which I've got, but I don't want a DA there, so I have to have the DA on the bottom, so that when I cross cancel, I just get left with my DL over DT, and that's what I want. So I want this, I know this, now I need to connect the area of a square to its length, and I know that the area is its length squared, but for a square, and so once I've got this, I can then work out dA by dL by differentiating this. So I differentiate the area with respect to the length, um, and so this becomes 2L. Uh, so I multiply by the, by the power and take 1 from the power. Now I just go back and check, have I got what I want? I want a dL over dA. I've actually got dA over dL, so I can just flip this. So to get DL, DL over DA, I just flip it so I get 1 over 2L. So then I put um, everything into my formula. So DL over DT, DA over DT, which we found was 4 from the question. And then the DL over DA, after we flipped this, we get 1 over 2L. And then you can see that that just cancels to 2 over L. And I want to find what the rate of change is when the length is 6 centimeters. So I just substitute in L is 6 and then I get my answer. Okay, a se second example. Uh, the volume of a sphere is increasing at a rate of 200 centimeters cubed per second. Find the rate of increase of the radius of the sphere, sphere at the instant when the radius is 5 centimeters. Okay, start the same way. What do I want? I want the rate of increase of the radius of the sphere. So I want dr by dt. I want to know how the radius is increasing with time. What am I given? Uh, the volume of the sphere is increasing at a rate of 200 centimeters cubed per second. The volume is increasing at a rate. So that's how dv by dt is increasing. So I write that down. Then I say, okay, what's the final um, component of this going to have to be? And so I look at what I need. I need a dr, because I haven't got a dr so far, so I'm going to put dr here. And I need, I've got the dt, so what I need to do is get rid of that dv. So I'm going to put dv on the bottom there so that when I cross cancel, they disappeared and I'm just left with me at my dr by dt, which is what I want. So the final bit is how can I connect the volume of the sphere to the radius, and the formula for the volume of a sphere is uh, V equals 4 thirds pi R cubed. So I can then differentiate this, so I multiply by the power and take 1 from the power, and if I multiply 4 thirds by 3, I'll just get 4, so this becomes 4 pi R squared. I then go back to what I wanted. I wanted dr over dv, I found dv over dr, so I flip it, and then I've got everything I need. So I know this, I'm given that in the question here. Um, I now have worked out that from all of this, after I flipped it, I get 1 over 4 pi r squared, and after a bit of cancelling, I get my answer here. 
and then I want to find the rate when the radius is 5 centimeters so I substitute r equals 5 into this so r squared is 25 25 25 cancel so that gives me 1 over pi centimeters per second so that tells me how quickly the radius is changing with time okay so the last bit you might connect more than one rate of change that's fine again you just have to be careful that you do the cross cancelling so when you set up your formula with what you know and what you want to find out just make sure that when you do all your cross cancelling like the dr and the dr and the dv and the dv you get left with what you need it to be left with so we need to be left with da over dt da over dt so this would work and then i can just substitute all my different bits in Okay, I hope that's helpful. Bye.